Hello there everyone. Today I want to show you how to make this different style triple row macrame bracelet. This is what it looks like. And I've used rounds in the middle and rondelles on the outsides. And then used two different kinds of cards which is why you have this almost like nice pattern running through it. And I'll just show, this is one version, this is what I'll be showing you on the video. And I'll just show you a few of the variations that I've made, just to give you some ideas of what you can do. So these are some other ones. These are made with shambhala beads in the middle, and then just some rondelles on the outside. Like say on this one, I've alternated as well, the outside ones, so that's another effect you can do. So if you want to learn how to make these, then stay tuned. And these are the things that you're going to need. You'll need some cord. In this case, I'm using some 1mm wax cord, and it's black for my design. And then you also need some other type of thread or cord. I'm using some embroidery thread, and this is just a metallic colour. And you can obviously use whatever goes with your design. And then you'll need a scissor to cut your cord. And then the beads you'll need is, I'm going to be using rounds for the centre, and then some rondelles for the outsides. And the only thing is the size of the rondelles you want to roughly match the small size of the rondelles you want to roughly match the size of your round beads it doesn't have to be precise but just roughly and then some glue to finish off your piece and then here I have a small actually quite a big but a needle of a type um, that's for this thread it's just to make it easier to get it through the beads you can use any type of needle that will go through your beads so get your things together and then let's get started so to make this bracelet I'm using my macrame board just for easiness makes it a lot easier to work with and then the first thing you want to do is cut off two lengths of your wax cord this doesn't have to be very long this is going to be about the length that you want your bracelet to be and then add some extra first of all to be able to finish it off but also so you have enough to work with so cut off the length that you need and then I'm just going to attach one end both of the cords together like the old one to the top of my board so they're fastened in like so and then the other end I'm just going to attach to the bottom just to get this ready for me to work with like so. And then the next thing you need to do is cut off another length of your wax cord. This needs to be fairly long because this is your working cord. So I'll probably say roughly about a metre to a metre and a half if you're in doubt rather than just do a bit more. And then you also want to cut the same length of the embroidery thread or whatever else you're using. So when you've done that put them both together so they lay equally and then find roughly the middle of them so now you're going to be working with them as if it was one length of cord and then you want to get one end feed it underneath your holding cords in the board lay it underneath like this And then we want to attach these cords to the holding cord. And to do that, all we do is make start off with making a square knot. And just keep working with these two cords like they were one. So just try and hold them together nicely. So you make the first half of your square knot. pull it up a bit, tighten that and then you want to make the other half of your square knot it's going to be a little bit more tricky working with two cards as if they were one and especially embroidery with red can be a little bit fiddly but just take your time like so
and tighten that up. Now that's one full square knot. So you now have your working cards attached to your holding cord. So you now want to keep making some more square knots because this is going to be one side of your bracelet and I always like starting off our bracelets with just a few square knots before you start adding in the beads. Keep doing the same thing. One half, do the other half. So make however many square knots that you want right here in the beginning. You can do anything from as little as two or up to six or eight, whatever you think really. The design is completely up to you. You can always, if you kind of tighten it a bit uneven, you can always just pull one cord a bit once you tighten it, and that will tighten it up nicely. So just keep going to the amount of knots that you want to do. So I've now made six square knots, and that's going to be the beginning part of my bracelet, and I'm happy with that amount. So what I need to do now is release your bottom cords, your holding cords, and now you need to split them up. So if you have a macrame board, it's brilliant for that because you can just put them in each their own notches. So they're now split up and then now it's time to make another square knot but one on each of these. To do this you work with one side at a time. So say I start on my left side and I want to take these two cords coming out from the left side and use them to make my square knot. Now, how you do it, you can it's up to you really, you can decide how you want to do it. You can switch them around if you want to, but I like using the embroidery thread on the inside and starting with that one on this side. So all I do is lay it over like this, like you would do a normal square knot. Only focus on this cord. This one will say for after. Then you grab the other one, finish off this half of the square knot, that's your wax cord, and then all you do is tighten it up, and then you want to just do the other half of the square knot, so it's nice and tight. Like so. And now you want to do the same thing on the other side. So again, I want to use my embroidery thread on the inside, and I start with that one. And take my wax cord to finish off this half of the square knot. Tighten it. Get my embroidery thread again. And then the wax cord. finish off the square knot. So you now have a section right at the beginning of square knots with all your cards together. Then you have at the end of that you basically split it into two sections, one square knot, one smaller square knot on each side. So this is now your starting point where you want to start adding your beads in. Now the way to do this is you start with one side at a time. So I'm just going to keep starting with my left side, it doesn't really matter. And what I do is, on the outside, which is my wax cord, and that's going to always be outside cord, on that one, I want to thread on my rondelle. And this is just some cherry quartz rondelles that I've got. 
So feed that on and push that down. And then on the other one, your embroidery thread, that's on the inside. The first thing you want to do is this is where you want to get your needle out because this can get this can be quite tricky to get through a bead especially if you're using say the metallic colours that's why if you have this needle's got a fairly big eye but it's made of like really fine wire so once your thread is in there the eye can basically close in and go through pretty much any bead so I've now threaded my embroidery thread onto the needle and all I do now is grab one of my rounds which in this case is a black agate bead and just put the needle through that if you can get your thread through without a needle by all means it's just using the needle makes it a lot easier and then push that down and you can take your needle back off this one and what you want to do now is fasten these two down with a square knot again staying on this side so again I start with the inside which is the embroidery thread the only reason for this is just to keep an even pattern throughout you can start with the other side if you want to just give it a go and see what you prefer it's completely up to you so I start making my first half of the square knot and pull tight and then to finish off the square knot all you want to do is one square knot between each set of beads make sure the first one is tight before you pull the other one tight like so so that's one side and you now do the same thing on the other side your outside cord, your wax cord and get one of your rondelles and thread that on and now you want this embroidery thread that you haven't used yet coming out from the other side and you now want to put your needle onto that so I've now threaded on my needle to my embroidery thread and now what you want to do is get your needle through the round bead that you just put on the one that you already have on there now this is where it really comes in handy with the needle because you probably wouldn't be able to get it through without and just pull your thread through you can take your needle off again pull the whole thing through and then again you want to do a square knot around this card wax cord and again I start with the inside the embroidery thread just to stay on the same pattern so it gets uniform throughout so you just make a square knot around here to bring these beads together finish it off with the other half Make sure the first one is tight before you tighten the second one. Like so. Now that's your first set of beads attached. So now to add in the next set of beads, you just repeat the exact same thing. So on the outside cord, your wax cord, you want to put on the rondelle again.
push it all the way down so it's ready. And then on this embroidery thread, the one back on the left side again, I've already threaded on my needle. And then this one you take through a new round. push it all the way down. So we're now ready to make a square knot again on here. So again we start with the inside, the embroidery thread, put that over, grab your wax cord, feed it over and underneath both and pull it up through the loop and tighten it. And then the other half of it, start with the embroidery thread again. Make sure the first knot is tight when you do the second one, like so. And then back to the other side again. First you grab your outside cord, the wax cord, and again on that you want to thread on a rondelle. And push it all the way down. And then on the embroidery thread on the right side, again put on your needle. And then you want this to go through the round that you just put on before. You push your needle through and then pull your needle through and the embroidery thread. So you then have your thread through the bead and then you just want to pull it tight and then what will happen is your beads will come together and your cards will come together and you're now ready to make the square knot underneath here and again to stick with the same pattern I start with my embroidery thread the inside one and so you just make another square knot under here again I start with the inside cord the embroidery thread to stick with the same pattern It doesn't matter what you do, whether you start with the inside one or the outside one. It's whatever you prefer, really, if you prefer it to look the other way. Um, but just, just try and remember which one you start with each time, whether it's the inside one or the outside one. And just stick with that so it'll look nice and uniform. Like so. You now have two sets of beads attached. And then all you do now is just continue doing the same thing. So thread a rondelle on your outside cord, your wax cord, push it all the way down, get your needle on this embroidery thread, grab your round, and then get this thread through the round. Push it all the way down to the center, like so. And again, just repeat, make a square knot underneath these. Same thing that we've been doing the whole time. Start with the inside again, if that's the look you're going for. If you're doing the same as me. So, finish the square knot, and you just go back doing the same thing here. Thread your rondelle on the outside, your wax cord, and then get your needle on here, and feed it through this round, 
and then make a square knot and that's another set of beads and you just keep going like this till you reach the length that you want it to be and then I'll show you what to do next so I've now put the amount of beads on that I want to use for this one and we've finished the last set off the same way that we've done throughout so we have one square knot on each side on each of these cords now what we want to do is go back to get it all together and use each side as one cord because we want to make this section again that we made at the top to finish it off and make it even so all you do is first thing I would do is these two bottom cords I would just release them and bring them back together it will just make it easier to tighten your square knots like so and then all you want to do is just grab these keep them to the side that they're coming out on and I'm going to continue starting on my left side because that's what I did in the beginning and that's just what comes natural to me so grab both of your threads and cords together lay it over grab the other side both of them together on top and then feed them underneath and pull through the loop and you just grab a hold and tighten them as evenly as you can make sure they're all tightened really nice and as equal as you can and then you want to do the other half of this square knot so you then start with the other side and then put these underneath and pull up through and then tighten again So that's my first square knot underneath. And now I want to continue making a few more. I want to make sure to make the same amount that I did in the beginning. In my case I made six, so I'm also going to finish off with six on here. So just continue making these square knots however many you made in the beginning and then I'll show you how to finish it off so I've now made six square knots at the end and I need to now get rid of these cords to do this I get my glue out I'm using the hypo cement and because you've been making square knots you'll be able to tell in the very last, last knot you have like a little well because a square knot kind of creates a little well what you want to make sure to do is put your glue in that well and then also bring it around your cords to secure them nicely so you can get rid of them, cut them off as close as you can get so you fill up that well and you do the same thing on the back side also fill up the well and go around your ends and then all you want to do is leave that to dry and when it's dry you just get a scissor and cut off the ends as close to your work as you can get it so you can now take your bracelet off the board because now we just want to make the last part finish it off, basically the locking part the way we do this is you cut off your ends so we're now left with 
the original hole in course coming out at each end. So what you do is the ends you cut off, if they're long enough you can just use them. If not, just cut some extra lengths off the cord that you have that you've been using throughout. And I like to keep them in the same look and the same pattern. So I use both cords for this, both my wax cord and my um, my embroidery thread, sorry. You don't have to, it's just my personal preference, just to keep the look going throughout. So what you need to do is cut that ready first, and then you have your bracelet. What you want to be the back side of it or the underside is what you need to fold around like this. So what's on the inside? is a side that's going to be constantly facing inwards. So you fold it round so your two tails are basically overlaying each other going opposite directions and then you keep hold of this you now have this space to work on. You can use a clip to attach these if you want to but I don't normally do it because it's just the first knot that's a bit fiddly after that it's fairly easy so you get the length, whether it's a tail or extra bits you cut off, and put roughly the middle underneath these two, well technically four cords, and then you just want to continue making some square knots. And again, it doesn't matter what side you start from, but I will you always usually start with my left side. So I'll put my left side over, and remember all these ends of these four cords are your holding cords now. So you want to go around all of them every time you make a knot. So I put over my left side first, then I grab my right one, take it around and underneath, basically through your bracelet, and then up through the loop and pull your end through and then you tighten that like so and tighten that nicely so that's the first half of your first square knot and you do the same thing but with the opposite side to finish off the square knot lay it over, put the other side through your bracelet and pull up through the loop and then pull this tight. So this is your first square knot. And you just make a few of these. You can make however many you want to. I normally like to do about six, between six and eight. I find that being the most sturdy. Because, say, two square knots, you can do. I just personally don't feel like that's quite enough because I like it to feel sturdy and feel like it's going to hold it well. So I like to do about between 6 and 8 depending on what I'm doing. That's my second one. And just keep going. And see now it's a lot easier just to do your knots because you don't have to hold it as much. Because you've already made knots that's holding the whole thing together. That's my third. My fourth. 